Hey, how's it going? This is Rob from Justin's Toys, and today I'm going to teach you how to make a new bracelet. I call it the triple link. Great thing about this, you can make it on one loom, and you can wear it like this, or you can actually turn it so that it flattens out, and it's going to be perfect for like a necklace if you made it long enough. But, without wasting your time any further, I'm going to show you how to make this. So, here I have my loom. And basically, what you are going to do is you're going to align all of the rows, but that middle row is actually going to be in the opposite direction as the other rows, and it's going to be aligned. So, I took that off and I put it back on, and now you see they're aligned, so I can do this with my hook. And you are going to start applying bands on one of the outside rows, but make sure that outside row has an arrow facing away from you. Alright, so for my bracelet, I'm actually going to have the main chain be silver, and then the links are going to alternate between black and glow in the dark white. So, first thing you want to do is grab one rubber band on your chain color. All right. Classic single band on the inside, so this silver is equivalent to the gold on that bracelet. And I'm just taking one, and I'm gonna take the next one and connect the next two pegs. Next one, so peg three and four, peg four and five, and I'm just gonna do this all the way down to the end. It's basically the classic single bracelet. Alright. Alright, so right here I reached the end, and I'm actually going to connect this whole entire thing up here. So the next rubber band that I'm putting on is going to connect this peg and this peg. Alright, I'm going to turn my whole entire loom around so this whole row has the arrows facing away from me. And then I'm going to connect those two pegs, and I'm going to follow this all the way down the line again. Alright, now that I reach that end, I'm going to connect this peg and then that peg and again turn the whole entire loom around. But if your wrists are smaller than mine, you know, I'm like a normal sized adult, you can actually stop here. I'm going to continue and I'm going to go two more pegs in because that's going to be enough to fit around my wrist. Alright. So, once I've reached the end, I am going back to the beginning, and this time I'm grabbing my link colors, so my links are going to be black and white, alternating instead of gray, I mean silver and clear here. And I'm not going to start from that first peg, I'm going to start from that second peg, and I'm going to connect this end down to the fourth peg. So three rubber bands this time, okay? Connect second to fourth. All right. Next, grab your next color, three whites, and I'm connecting my third to the fifth. Next three bands is going to be fourth to sixth. Next three bands, 
fifth to seventh. And I hope you get the pattern. As you can see, sometimes this silver gets caught in between all of this. So what I should have done is before I did this whole entire thing is actually push down on all the silver. Just and that's gonna make it all easier later on. So I'm actually gonna go and then push down these silvers. And you'll see why that makes a difference later on. All right, so back to what I was doing. Now I'm on black, and then I am going to connect, what is that, six to nine? One, two, three, four, five, six to, six to eight, all right? And connect this thing. So you can see it's alternating black, white, black, white, black, white. All right, so I just reached the end of the row, and the next color that I'm doing is black, but I need to connect the next three pegs, and in this case, it's going to be a triangle. So I'm taking these three rubber bands, and I'm going to put them over just like this. And then the next one is going to be white. Now I have to connect the next three bands, which are going to be these three pegs, and next three whites, it's also going to be a triangle, which looks like that. Then I'm back to just straight rubber bands, because the next three pegs are going to be these three. And then, again, I'm just going to continue down the line. Alright, three whites. All right, so again, I've reached the end, and now I'm gonna have two triangles, because the next three pegs are gonna be these three. And then the next three are gonna be these three, creating a triangle. All right, and I'm actually gonna stop right here um, my last step 
This is going to be the last band in this whole entire thing. This is where that single silver one starts. I'm going to triple loop this last band so that it's three times over. And I'm actually going to put this triple loop band over this first peg. just like that alright so my setups complete as you can see everything alternates black and white you have two triangles over here so that's when you know everything's good now we're gonna start with this first band right here where the arrow is facing towards you so you know this is the beginning and you're gonna go in and get in front of that triple looped band right there and grab that silver from inside pull it get around those corners okay and then pull it up to the next pack then this next one right here actually pull that up you're gonna go in front of all of those bands except that bottom silver and you're just gonna pull that silver up get around those corners and then up to itself. Okay, so now if you take a look right here, there's that silver, and that silver is supposed to be on the bottom. So I'm gonna go in this peg right here, and you'll see there's that silver right there. But this part gets kind of tricky because what you want to do is you want to pull it around this peg and then bring it up and you'll see you bring it over this top peg it's probably going to get caught right here what you can do is take your hook kind of pull it around and that'll unloosen that one rubber band so it's going to look like that and when it's like that you know you did it right next you're going to go in front of all of these bands and grab this silver from underneath and this silver is going to be over here and as you can see I just it's this band going in that you need to grab it's kind of hard to see but you want to grab that rubber band so you're going to go in front of all those bands and just grab that silver from the bottom Bring it up, get around those corners, and bring it up. Again, it's stuck over here, so what you could do is go in that hole, and then bring your hook around, and you'll see it just unloosened, and that means you did it right. Alright, so now, basically, on this peg, you're going and you're grabbing all these silvers. But you're going in front of all the bands except that bottom silver. And then you're grabbing it and bringing it up and over itself. Alright? And you're going to do this all the way down the line until you reach the end. Alright, so right here, this is that last one on this row. 
cabinet silver I'm bringing up and I'm just going to turn this on to our right here this silver I'm going to go in side just grab that silver and bring it around this peg again you're going to see it get stuck on that corner but you could just take your hook come around there and that'll unloosen it alright and then now right here you're gonna get in front of all of these bands and just grab that silver just like that pull it out get around those corners again it's gonna get stuck you just want to unloosen it like that as you can see it already came out and that's what it'll look like if it's right alright now we are just doing what we did before in that center part and go in front grab that silver get around those corners bring it up and over all the way down the line All right, there you go, all finished. Now you just want to grab a C-clip, all right? Easiest thing to do, get on that end, hold it as close to the edge as possible, go halfway in and just pull it up. And we can actually remove it from the loom now. So, holding on to this C-clip. I'm just going to remove this rubber band and then carefully one peg at a time just start to remove all the bands on each of these pegs All right, so there you go. Whole bracelet's complete. You could kind of straighten it out a little bit. 
you know. And that is the finished product. And at this point, you just want to grab the C clip and then connect it to this triple looped one right here on all three ends and you can do that by taking this triple loop one reapplying it back onto the loom right here where there's a groove on the outside and you could just take it and take this C clip and just pull up all right and that is the easiest way to do that but I didn't even do it right you gotta make sure it's straightened out now it's straight so you'll know if you did it right that you can actually flatten it out like this and it'll still be neat and that that'll almost be its natural state alright so there you have it that is the triple link